Now let's turn over to Stormwatch 12, Chief Meteorologist Matt Hoffman, to see what our conditions are looking like for us outside right now, Matt. Well, pretty quiet night out there. We just have a lot of clouds that are streaming through the region. Uh, we are going to be seeing another storm system, though. It's uh, starting to trend a little bit wetter for our region. It's not going to be terribly significant for precipitation amounts, but uh, what's going to be different is the main focus for rain and even some mountain snow into Wednesday going to be east of the Cascades. But uh, we are going to stay quiet for tomorrow. We'll just continue to have clouds streaming through the region, partly to mostly cloudy skies. Uh, some periods of tomorrow will be a little bit brighter as well, but uh, we're going to continue to see temperatures fairly seasonal for tomorrow, but it will be a chilly morning. Look at how temperatures are dropping on the east side already into the 20s in Chamalt and Lakeview. It's 35 in Klamath Falls, 52 in Medford. And right now 49 degrees in Brookings. So tomorrow along the coast, we'll look for those readings to top out around 60 into the lower 60s. Some passing clouds, winds won't be too terribly brisk. Northern California will get into the 60s for your Tuesday. A mix of sun and clouds and again, staying dry. No worries for rain anywhere in Southern Oregon and Northern California. Bit of a cold start for the basin. Temperatures are rebounding. Uh, it's around 59 in Chilliquin, 62 in Lakeview and 61 in Klamath Falls. Up into the mountains, up to 62 in Prospect. We'll top out around 53 for Lake of the Woods and 45 up at Crater Lake. And then in the Rogue Valley, partly cloudy tomorrow. Highs in the 60s, fairly on par for average. And it will be cooler though on Wednesday with that storm system passing through. Notice temperatures that take a little bit of a dip. We will have the potential for some showers in the Rogue Valley. Better chances uh, for precipitation east of the Cascades. The Klamath Basin and Klamath Falls, we're mainly just going to be looking at rain, but up into the higher elevations of the basin, especially above uh, 5,000 feet for the east side, we could see some snow mixing in and not expecting any uh, significant snow amounts. But this is a look at precipitation and rainfall in general, and notice amounts are going to be fairly light, but definitely more of a focus for rainfall and precipitation east of the Cascades not likely to see much at all along the Oregon coast this time around. So storm cast as we go through the day tomorrow, just those passing clouds. We stay dry moving on into Wednesday. The morning looks fairly quiet, but as we step into midday into the afternoon, notice how the rain mountain snow develops uh, for portions of Southern Oregon and Northern California. And the focus again is on the east side, but some showers will be possible further to the west as well. We'll keep an eye on how this system evolves. But notice how things clear out as we head into Wednesday night. So Thursday morning could be another really cold one in our west side valleys. Uh, frost and potentially freeze conditions throughout our west side valleys. Temperatures though beyond that warming up. Look at these highs by Friday getting into the 70s in the Rogue Valley. Your seven day forecast slight chance of a shower on Wednesday for the coast, but some wetter storm systems for the coast moving in this weekend. It looks like a pretty soggy weekend is shaping up for the Oregon coast. Northern California slight chance for some showers on Wednesday. Temperatures rebounding into the 70s by Friday. Good chance for some rain and mountain snow showers for the basin on Wednesday. Winds will be breezy with that system as well. Temperatures on the cooler side for the mountains, rain and snow on Wednesday. More opportunities for some wet weather this weekend into early next week. Likely also seeing those snow levels lowering into early next week. We'll have to watch that. And then in the Rogue Valley, the potential for some showers on Wednesday. We bump up into the 70s on Friday, but trending cooler and wetter through the weekend into early next week.